Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, everything you need to know is below the video here. All links for purchases, um, to see my tarot decks that I enjoy to use, definitely go check that out. So, okay, this is going to be a love reading for you, Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please be mindful the messages are general. Okay, let's take what fits, leave the rest. And we're going to take a look at the month of June. Obviously, the first card that popped out, you have love, beautiful energy, unconditional love. Uh, excuse my big old band-aid. Unconditional love, self-love, can't see it, of course. Oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. All right, let's see what's going on here. This is beautiful. Love energy is always the highest energy to reach of all, correct? All right, let's take a look. And you have wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Oh boy. All right, let's not jump the gun here. Let's see what else is going on for you, Virgo. And kisses, oh my goodness. <laughs> Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love, Virgo. I mean, come on. I'm like, what is this? How great would it be to have this, right? So let's take a look here. Because, I mean, I feel like there's two people coming together in love, giving affection, wedding rings, a bond, union, sacred uh, union, a soul connection, eternal love. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what this energy is. We'll take a look and see if this is somebody new. Obviously, it would have to be if you're no longer with someone from your past. But we can also look and see if this is a past connection coming through as well. If the cards show it, the cards show it. If they don't, <clears throat> then we'll just see the overall energy. Okay. Oh, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay. Oh, here's the King of Wands. I remember him showing up in your recent readings here. Uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius, okay, male or female energy, so love with a fire sign, okay, or someone who is very courageous and bold or is coming in this way, could be any other sign as well, someone who's charming and passionate, um, a lot of charisma with this person, embodying the King of Wands energy, feisty, feisty energy, Wow, the star. Okay, that's Aquarius energy. So there's a healing. <clears throat> this person could be in the public eye. Um, there's a healing energy here with the star. Uh, there's hope, renewal, having faith again. Okay. Uh, inner clarity, somebody having inner clarity. Um, this could be somebody famous or uh, whether that's on a global scale or just a local scale. Uh, popularity I'm picking up could be somebody who's quite popular all right let's see oh wow eight of wands wow <laughs> Cupid's arrows coming in fast Virgo do you know who this person is somebody is really really into you okay all right justice and the Emperor, oh my gosh, Virgo, okay, that's Aries energy, we've got Libra here, but this is somebody who is like coming in to do the right thing, or wants to do the right thing, or wants to do something by the book, um, maybe it's legal marriage, it could be, you know, getting married by justice of the peace, not really like um, a spiritual religious kind of a wedding, if that's, if it's a marriage situation, more like, okay, let's go down the courthouse kind of thing, eloping type of energy as well, because this is, that eight of wands feels like, you know, it's quick, positive news. So you're, you're it's definitely some messages coming in or some news you're going to be receiving, like boom, 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 boom. It's like um, rapid fire here. Let me, let me try to channel a little bit clear here. Okay, so this could be somebody in military or they're in law enforcement um, or they work in a government setting like um, the legal system. Okay. Uh, this person may have children or maybe um, a grandparent. 
Okay, let me see here. Um, and I feel like this, if it's like, it's a higher up. So it's somebody who sits in a position of higher, higher up, um, like CEO, um, what's the highest level of like in a commander kind of a position. Okay. Not demanding, but just command like a commander's kind of position. Wow. This is crazy. Okay. So it feels to me like there's somebody here coming towards you in the month of June where there's going to be a lot of communication from this person. Like I said, I feel like this is someone who's like a big shot, you know, someone who's like a, like a big shot. They have recognition. Um, people know who they are. Um, let me see here. Okay. Wow. You also have the King of Pentacles. So could be somebody who's coming in also. Uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn as well. Like I said, so when I call, when we get a lot of court cards, understand that the court cards are an energy. It doesn't always specifically mean it's that person. It can. But when we have like double or triple court cards of like kings and queens, it, it tells me that there's, it's one person who's embodying the different elements. Okay. So what I'm feeling here, there's an element of someone who's very good with money. Um, a wise, like a, an investor that could be an investor, someone who's resourceful, domesticated, um, dresses really well, that kind of energy has like quality clothing. Doesn't have a lot of clothing, but their clothing is quality. Okay. Let's see. Okay, and this is a very thoughtful person as well. Very thoughtful in the sense where they will think before they act. This is not someone who reacts. This is someone who responds. Um, this is someone who thinks before they say anything. They hesitate at first. They contemplate not just their communication, but they contemplate their moves, what they're going to, you know, whether or not they should do something. Um, and, and most of this falls along the, the lines of like being very good with money. Um, you know, they look at their, their, their budget, they create budgets, they look at them, they follow them, they know how to increase their wealth. Okay. So it, it feels like very, uh, stable person. Um, this seven of pentacles makes me feel like this is the mind set of the knight of pentacles. The knight of pentacles is someone who puts something into action after having thought it through. Okay. But they're very slow to act. Um, so this person, uh, if you had to recognize their brain, I feel like somebody here has been and is contemplating, you know, about going further with you in investing in a relationship with you. Okay. Because pentacles are physical. So this does represent a physical thing where being in a physical, um, in the 3d with you, right? Not just up in the clouds, more like real life. Um, the pentacles as Virgos, of course you would know is all about like reality truth. Okay. So now here comes the King of Swords and the Three of Wands. So this is strategizing how to have a partnership, okay? Um, communicating. This person could be at a distance from you, the Three of Wands. So King of Swords, obviously, is air energy. This is all up in the head. This is logic. So this person is coming in here um, with a lot of love messages. This person's really, really interested, Has um, will have very strong affections for you, okay? But they're also not someone who will be pushed into anything. They think first before they act. And also, um, there's something here about with the three of wands that th there could be like some kind of distance where something needs to be strategized in order to have two people, uh, come together. Okay. So this is more like, you know, um, there's, there's a obstacle in the way, and this is trying to figure out how to get around or through this obstacle more so, um, in order to, with the three, I feel like they're going to be communicating this with you and in order to, um, expand on this relationship, there may be some travel. This person may communicate to you that there's going to be some travel in your direction. Okay. Or that they're coming in your direction, like coming your way. 
Let me see what else is going on here. Oh, wow. Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Six of Pentacles. So this person comes across to me as really interested in um, the, the balance of reciprocity, giving and receiving, okay? Um, I know that when I make the description of the person, there's not a lot of love energy coming in here, but I am going to try to pick up on, you know, the emotions, um, the feelings, the love energy. If somebody here, if you know this person or if you don't, the six of, now sixes can be uh, harmony, okay? Coming into harmony, reciprocity. I also feel like this person, um, they're just saying is very good at paying their, their debts or their bills or things that they owe. They pay them right away and can be quite generous and helpful as well. So giving to charities, helping those more downtrodden. Um, this person has a very, like a nice balanced disposition. And I feel like wanting to give to you if you have children or other family members. This person is very generous and will come across as being very generous to, to giving. It's not just about sharing um, all of their money, but they can have a tendency to be like, okay, well, I, I can help you. I can, I can invest, but I'm not going to buy you. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to like keep you 100% uh, support fully 100%. So does that make them stingy or miserly? Not really. I feel like this person wants to, uh, will, uh, wants to or, or allow you to have your own independence, your own financial independence, but will always be there to kick in whatever you need in order to have that. So it's a, it's a very supportive energy is how I feel with the Six of Pentacles. All right, let's take a look and see what the emotions are. This feels more, oh, there's, look, Knight of Pentacles. That's just what I was saying. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, so yeah, slow and steady wins the race. This is this, this is their uh, this is their approach. Okay, you might already know this person. You might meet this person in June, and I'll try to figure out. Let's see. Oh wow, Knight of Wands. So they're, they're <laughs> all right. So. When it comes to finances and investing or committing or making commitments, this person is slow and steady, okay? They think first, they think about it, they, they analyze, they look over all the possible outcomes, how things could work, what could be done. They're very good at strategizing things in business and finance and career, um, things like that, okay? Um, and that's their general approach. I will say that that can be involving people um, or involving in a relationship where there is a financial aspect to the relationship, okay? But I also feel like this person is extremely passionate and fiery and lustful. So they have these two elements going on at the same time where when it comes to the earthly things, the everyday things, they're very slow to approach and they take their time, okay? Um, slow and steady, but when it comes to lust, physical passions, okay, this person is like on fire. And I feel like with you, that's what you're gonna see, okay? Because they do feel there's gonna be a falling in love energy here happening. Now we have the Page of Cups and the Two of Swords, so when it comes to this person's emotions, okay, um, because if you notice, we really don't have much in the way showing up here in this reading of emotions. As a matter of fact, this is the first cup card. So as far as sharing their emotions, they're very light with that. Um, they don't go deep. They don't go heavy. There are a lot of sweetness and affection, kisses, a very affectionate kissing person, but the deepest of their emotions, um, I feel like they, they make, they do contemplate their emotions because with the two of swords, we do have the moon here and that does represent the emotions. They are self-aware. They do know how they feel about things, right? But they block their emotions, okay? As a form of protection, not as a form of manipulation, 
right? You see how this, the Two of Swords, this person here, their arms are crossed? This is not necessarily um, blocking because they're not interested or they don't like. It's more a protective energy. It's a self-soothing energy. So they do have very deep emotions, but they tend to protect themselves so as not to be too vulnerable, but they are able, sometimes their, their affections and their emotions do slip out with the way, um, with the Page of Cups. Um, they can, they have a tendency to feel that tidal wave of emotion, um, and they do get wrapped up in that, but the, it's very controlled. So it's very controlled emotion. So like, for example, if you would ask this person if they love you, um, they would say something sweet and affectionate, but they wouldn't go deep into the emotions. And I, I feel like when you connect with this person, you will um, understand that, okay? Um, or you will begin to see that and understand that. And it kind of feels like they have a lot of similarity to you as well. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is here, okay. Oh, okay, there's the Six of Cups, so, hmm. Okay, um, so this person might have a home or live with family where there's children. Um, they might work in a place where there's children. Um, and also um, desire to have children, okay? Um, Six of Cups. Also, as you guys know, and I know you guys are like, please don't tell me about the past. This could be someone from your childhood that you knew. And I think that showed up in yesterday's reading. Um, so this is definitely a reunion card. So for some of you, this is going to be a reunion. There might be a family reunion or uh, some kind of um, work thing or a school reunion. Uh, I'm feeling the school reunion thing very low on the uh <laughs> on the rumble scale but i feel like it could be a work thing where it's like a barbecue and like a um everybody goes to a work party uh or something like that and there's kids there and, and there's a connection there so you might meet this person there you might know them you might work with them and wind up or, or they might invite you if you meet them somewhere else to go to this work party as like a plus one Okay, um, but I'm definitely seeing love here. Uh, definitely, this is like a, a love connection happening here. Now for others, hold on. Okay, um, this person may want to have a child. They might already have children. They may be seeking also to have another child. That's for some. Um, there may be like a surprise invitation um, to meet family. Also, I'm hearing to meet family. Okay. Let's take a look. I want to see when is this energy, mostly when is this energy going to play out? Because we are looking at June, but let's see if there's any other time frame because I know. Okay. Some of you met this person in May of 2021. You may already know who this person is. Okay, May of 2021. Also, oh, here we go. Okay, wow, they're just telling me. Okay, hold on a minute, that can't be right. Is that right? Yeah, Saturday, this Saturday. Lovers and the Four of Wands. There's some, some kind of family event, perhaps? Again, with another reunion card. Um, and the lovers, a decision. Decision to go to a, some type of family event of some sort. But this is falling in love here. A deep partnership. So for some of you, this energy will begin this weekend. Oh, I can't wait to do the weekend reading. A Gemini. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let me see what other messages there are here for you. This is just craziness. It does feel like, um, well, we definitely have confirmation of reunion here. So this does feel like a past thing, okay? And for others, it may not be a past thing. It may be somebody that you already know at work or you may meet 
you know, over the weekend. Okay, so take that as it as it resonates for you. All right, let me see. What are the love messages? Okay, so interestingly enough, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay, so some of you might be releasing an ex and meeting somebody new, or you've already released an ex and somebody new is coming into the picture here could be an earth sign air sign or um, a fire sign so for some of you your ex could be a water sign that you're letting go of uh, let's see what else uh, it's amazing to me that we have these the love wedding rings and kisses but the only cups card that we have um, is a page of cups and the six of cups so there is someone from your past who will be reaching out for sure um, with some sweet sweet messages but that might be um, a water sign okay and hmm you might they might not really be playing a factor here but you know like I said when we have a whole bunch of court cards uh, the story tends to bebop all over the place okay so let me see okay i've got codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life okay some of you were in a codependent relationship with someone from the past letting that go healing from that and then you've got true love coming in here it's a romance of a lifetime could be somebody also from your past who's let go of someone they were with where there was um, addictions or codependency involved there if someone was like an alcoholic or an addict or you know whatever they, there was a third party or some type of a block in between the relationship here which there may have been but then romance here comes romance love wedding rings and kisses so okay trust situation is calling you to have faith virgo i feel like you're you're connecting with somebody here like i said you may have already met them a couple of years ago or last year or sometime in your past um and for others you may be connecting with this person over the weekend it might be so with the six of cups i do feel like it's a surprise for some of you um you have a surprise encounter with someone that either you knew before or this is somebody um that's like whoa where'd they come from you just come out of the woodwork here all right let's take a look at the love messages looks kind of exciting oh and by the way the world's here and i didn't even say anything about that so i don't know why i just skipped right over that so with the world card and the five of cups this is letting go of grief and starting a new chapter okay somebody here i feel like accepting hold on a second yeah that's releasing somebody here is letting go of sadness and grief and beginning over okay some something in the past something in the past was very difficult very in a grief process um somebody felt abandoned someone felt um there's like re some type of regret or someone felt loved and and unloved excuse me and it's letting that go now with the world starting a new chapter beginning all over again Um, I'm also picking up here now uh, Leo as I said Aquarius I said Taurus I said but also Scorpio okay so very fixed energy I feel like somebody here um, this person because it's fixed energy now they're just telling me they're fixing their grief they're fixing their emotions fixing their feelings so what does that mean it's like taking a look oh look here's put away the computer again taking a look at how they feel and and doing something about it repairing these hurt lost empty feelings okay oh here's true love again right on the true love card that's crazy um 
somebody's going to be working less. Um, maybe there was someone you were connected with or this person when they meet you. Um, like I said, they really do have like a work mindset. Um, I feel like someone's going to put uh, delegate their workload to others or somewhere else so that they can create more time with you going forward to create a, a, a true love relationship of some sort. Yeah, that's what that is. Putting away the computer, um, pushing back on the desk, <laughs> getting away, um, creating more space for two of you, both of you, um, having more fun, uh, spending more time getting to know each other, connecting or reconnecting and strengthening a bond to have this true love connection. Okay. Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. Okay. I replay our conversations over and over. That just flipped out. Okay. Marriage. So I feel like somebody was denying marriage in the past or had denied a marriage um, and that they had a, they divorced, okay? Or denying a marriage ever existed. Um, I feel like... Um, I replay our conversations over and over. I feel like this person, if you knew them before, there was there was some communication. Certain things were said that this person thinks about a lot. And you, if you knew them before and something didn't work out, you may have said to this person, um, why do you deny our relationship? Why do you deny moving forward with me? Why do you, why do you detach all of the time? And I feel like this person, if you knew them in the past, I'm just going to say, you know, is, is replaying that and looking at that, how some of you may have walked away and this person was left with their grief because you started your life over. You started a new chapter in your life here with the world or you traveled or you moved away. Okay, so basically what, what it's telling me is somebody is coming in here and if you didn't know them um, in the past, this person, when you meet them, like I feel like they, their energy is that they were someone who may, they may tell you or they may have always thought I'm never going to get married or I'm never going to have, like I don't want that. I don't want a long-term relationship. I don't want to be committed to only one person for like ever and ever. And uh, that's overwhelming even for people who do want that. That's overwhelming for people to just, who, who do want a long-term relationship. Or for anyone to just think that like forever. Like hold your horses here. Let's just take things a day, day at a time. So um, yeah, that energy, I, I feel like that's really playing out with this person's like, I've always said no, that I never wanted this. And even when I did get married, I really didn't want that. But I said yes to please my partner, because he or she wanted that. And I feel like this, it's left this person, I don't know, just kind of questioning why, why, what am I so afraid of, you know, so, you know, there, there's this going over and over and over in the head and trying to figure out is, is it because I didn't want to have a long term or open myself up because I was afraid I would be abandoned or unloved? Yes. And that somebody would leave me and start over elsewhere. Yes, absolutely. And that, that energy here is playing out with this person. Okay. Whether it's someone from your past or someone new, you may be connecting with. Um, but from the most part, you know, yesterday's reading was past life relationship. That was a past thing. And when I say past, if you're new, if you haven't heard me say this, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the, the last ex that you had that things didn't work out because whatever, for whatever reason, it was a bad relationship or maybe there was toxicity or whatever, or addictions. It could be somebody further back than that. Okay. So Virgo, you're getting some type of communication from somebody here, and it's it mostly has to do with travel and bringing good news to you. Somebody wants to see you, this person, whether it's um, an earth sign, a fire sign, or an air sign, wants to connect with you in the month of June, sometime after uh, this weekend, for sure. Um, it could be a water sign, but I'm kind of iffy on that right now. 
I'm not really seeing that too much, but whatever the case is, I feel like somebody is definitely wanting to talk to you. They're just, it's just the love and affection. I feel like, also I feel like this person is seeing how you gave unconditional love. If this is a past relationship, how you had that unconditional love, This that maybe you wanted to have that soul connection, that eternal promise from this, from someone, if it's a past, how you were, um, also very giving and you fell in love with somebody okay and um, I feel like this person is seeing this and both of you are wanting this or will be wanting this in June okay let me see what happened to my music hold on you guys oh my goodness <laughs> so it's good energy it's definitely love coming in but let me get a moon card here to see sit tight you guys I lost my camera okay let me get a moon card moonology what's the moon message here for Virgo bring love into the situation new moon in Aquarius that's lovely okay bring love into the situation Virgo all right and somebody also is bringing love into this Okay, love is coming. Let me get a couple of other messages here. Actually, I want to take a look and see what names, initials I can pick up here for you to give you some clarity. And just remember, if I call out a name and you don't know who that person is, they may not have arrived yet. Okay, you don't have to know who it is. Oh, all right. They're giving me first name that came out was Xavier. And I'm also getting, um, no, okay. This is strange. It gave me a nickname. They're giving me a nickname, jelly or jam. It's something to do with jelly or jam. I don't know if it's a nickname, but it's a, it's, it's, it's an identifier of some kind of name. Um, I'm also picking up Janine, Janine, and now they're saying Jerry or Gerald. Okay, let me see. Somebody has an infinity tattoo or drives an infinity or there's affinity somewhere. Okay, so now they're saying Mina, M as in Mary, I-N-A, Mina. And um, Mitchell. Mina or Mitchell. Okay, somebody's birthday is October 15th, I'm hearing. Also, I'm getting an August 20. All right, Mimi, they're telling me, okay. And Michael or Michelle and September 15th. Okay. Somebody has like a um, country type of quilt. Looks like a country quilt. Okay, hmm. So there's a letter S. And someone's name here and I'm picking up Taurus strong Taurus energy okay one sec somebody drives an SUV um March 19th, picking up March 19th, and okay, somebody's name is Sumi, S-U-M-I, Sumi, 
um, let's see. Okay. Um, they're saying, they're telling me 10 years. They're saying 10 years or 10 years ago or 10 years. Okay. Okay, now I'm getting June 19th. June 19th. Joe or Josephine or Josie, Josie, Josephine, Joe, Joe, Joseph, they're saying. All right. This, somebody asks a ton of questions, Ugh, constantly asking questions. You may recognize this person by that. They ask an awful lot. Of, they're very curious. They're always probably there was asking questions. Okay. Okay, um, now they're giving me the initial, or it's like, um, e, is it EJ or EJ or E? It starts with an E, or maybe it's DJ. <laughs> e and an EJ. Maybe it's somebody's like a, a shortened name, shortened to EJ. E and a J. Um, hold on a sec. April 12th, they're giving me. Okay. Okay, Chuck or Charles. Chuck or Charles, yeah. Um, July 11th, March 8th. Uh, the end, somebody's birthday is the end of September. Okay. And someone's in the army. They're just saying somebody's in the army. Okay. Or military, but it mostly feels like the the branch of military is the army or the the armed armed forces the army I guess that's what it's called I don't I'm not a military person I don't, I don't know all the branches I mean I know them but I don't know what they're all called um, okay so let me see if there's any other messages that spirit wants to give you okay they just want to give you one more. And all of a sudden, I just want you guys to know that this hangman card just popped out. That's Piscean energy. That's the first water sign that I was picking up here. Um, and this is in reverse. So the overall message for this entire reading is someone is writing their selfish behavior. Um, is, is wor I don't know who was selfish. Maybe it was you or another person, but taking a look at selfish behavior, okay? Um, where someone was very closed-minded about commitment or long-term relationships or marriage, okay? And that just flipped out, but I am gonna pull you one more card here. I'm gonna skip the charms and the, the numbers today. I feel like I did some of them already, but let me just pull out one more message for you here. Oh, good. You've got ser serendipity. Bring new pros bright new prospects around the horizon. That was, this kind of feels like a follow-up from yesterday's reading. Um, the seer, follow your intuition here. And you've got love. True love and fidel fidelity. Do you ever hear me, you guys, always say fidelity, like Fido, the dog? I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. True love and fidelity. This is beautiful energy. Okay, I love this reading. And um, I don't know, you know, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I think like October last year, 
we were really going, there was a lot of stuff going on. There was a lot of um, dealing with some horrible situations. I don't know if you noticed that the cadence of the readings has changed quite a bit. There was a lot of um, narcissistic stuff showing up. And as you remember, there was a lot of that bloody stumps and shit stain stuff happening. I feel like what's the, the, the things, there's been a lot of release since that time period up until now for a lot of you. You guys have ended past toxic relationships. There's been a lot of healing and I feel like that's all beginning to show here in your readings now. A lot of you are meeting new people. You've bro broken, you've released exes, you've released old patterns. So, you know, every once in a while though, I do notice that, you know, a toxic situation will rear its ugly head here. And, you know, we deal with that as it comes, but it feels like overall, you guys are really doing well. You're, you're on your way. I've just been noticing over the past five, four or five months, that there's been such an increase in abundance and spiritual healing through these readings, you know? So, I mean, just stay with me. Um, if you are, you know, in a situation, you know, where you're in a really bad, you're stuck, you can't get out of a bad situation um, or what have you, you can always reach out and get a personal reading with me and I can give you um, a tower reading and see what the energies are about trying to help you overcome some pretty uh, difficult situations. But of course, always keep in mind, I am not a physician. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor, psychologist. I don't have all the skills. So when you're calling for a tower reading, you, you do have to kind of take it with a grain of salt. Um, if it helps and gives guidance, that's great. But if you need more deeper help with things like that, um, always do what's best for you. And if that means seeking spiritual mentorship or counseling or whatever it might be, definitely supplement any of your tower readings with that kind of, um, uh, with those applications, because that will be always, it's always better to have all bases covered. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you enjoy that. Tomorrow, I will be uploading the weekend reading for the weekend, and maybe we'll touch a little bit on this weekend coming up because as I was saying I feel like you guys are going to be connecting with someone so I'm about to wrap up here so yeah do go over and check out my um, tarot cards the links for the cards that I've created um, I have one deck of oracle cards and then I have a really cute little game that I created so definitely check that out and also remember stay tuned on my gumroad account there's a link underneath there um, when you go over there, you'll see all kinds of, um, I'm going to start uploading all kinds of goodies and videos and um, $11 videos that you can just download um, and watch right on your phone there. Um, very inexpensive. So keep your eye open for that. And yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. All right. Bye. Take care.